Hello guys, today I'm going to show you a new tactic of my uh, blog, the transcription of uh, Antonio's Conte 343 with Chelsea actually, which made them first of the Premier League. Um, it was a, an, a diff, quite difficult one to, to play with and to, you know, play the same way he plays actually with Chelsea. Um, the advantage was kind of that I found like four, five, uh, th Conte three, four, three on Steam or <clears throat> even on, on FM Scout. Um, and some some great great work, um, and I wanted to do one myself, kind of inspired as well by those guys. But I wanted to just something personal of that, and I don't know if it's something something different. Of, but anyway. I'm um, just going to start with uh, the tactic quite quickly. Control, uh, yeah, this is quite logical, quite a lot of possession going down the side. You want, you want them to use the, the wideness of the pitch uh, as much as we can. This is uh, really a possession tactic, uh, not as much as Guardiola, as Manchester City in your saves, but this is kind of the idea use as much as we can the wideness and you know then create with the, those three guys up the pitch um, straight to the team instructions with the tempo really higher uh, with the you know we you got Fabregas, Matic, Hazard, William uh, the wingers as well are really technical I, I will talk a bit more about those guys uh, when, when, when I will finish the presentation because I've done some recruitment to get um, better efficiency of the tactic um, so yeah uh, I, I play slightly higher as well with the, those three as um, those three at the back just to reduce uh, as much as possible the space uh, on the middle of the pitch uh, then the enemy, the opposite team won't create um, on that zone. Um, closing down more, I, I, I want just one, just will verify. I, I, I didn't put, I don't know, I, I thought I put uh, much more, but I already put more. Uh, you could go for much more. This is a really quite aggressive team with Conte. You know, when you see him permanently, screaming on the, on the bench on the players to be really aggressive especially on that first you know uh, on, those, on the opposite team defenders you know to make them go for a direct ball uh, on David Luiz, John Terry, um, Kurt Zuma zone um, Chelsea will know that they will win with the header so this is why you want them to go straight to the first uh, guys will uh, have the less technical in the opposite team in your team as well but uh, yeah you, you don't want the ball to go uh, to the midf enemy midfielders you don't want them to create so straight to the defenders pressing um, that's really classic you can go for much more I think um, really aggressive tackling as well there were some red cards, if I remember well, for Chelsea this year. Um, but yeah, this is a really solid and aggressive uh, team. Uh, Diego Costa, for example. Kante is a different aggressiveness. Aggressivity, sorry. Um, is, is good at being aggressive. This is not a violent aggression every time he gets those balls back. Um, he's super talented. I, I love N'Golo Conte. Just, just a genius. This is how you want the tackling on your team. You want them to be yeah, really aggressive. A lot of faults. If you have a problem in your game, just, just to tick this out. And you can go for staying on fit. If, for example, um, the pitch, the, the the weather is rainy, for example, because if you get stuck in on the 
on a on a rainy day at Stoke, uh, you know you can get to a tackle that won't be perfectly controlled by your player, and it could go for a yellow card or even more for a red card. So watch out for the tackling thing. Um, it's quite classical, but I want really the team to be aggressive. Um, this is not unique. There is other teams being that aggressive, but that much, I'm not sure about that. Um, play out defense. Uh, the only guy that can, the only guy who's free to play with the ball is David Lewis, of course, the most technical defender out there. So this is why I don't want Kurt Zuma or the, the other guys to to go for, for some skills. So this is why I, I tend to play safe with that. Um, about creativity, the movement, etc. Uh, you don't... Um, how can I explain? Uh, no, 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 no. You don't want the team to be too free with Conte. He, he has a very um, special idea of his tactic. You, you, you want the team to respect all the points exactly uh, for the team. Um, what, what I want to say is um, this tactic is really Chelsea. I mean, um, for example, I made, I made the 4 4 2 Jardims in Monaco with high pressing, two different roles on the wings, uh, offensive, defensive uh, wingers, uh, Yes, wingers, yeah, and um, you can you can have that in a lot of teams. Though this three four three uh, is very specific for each player. It's it's just perfect. You know, when he came to Chelsea with with his three five two, it was like there is some good and bad things, and he went through the. 3-4-3 to be like even more specific for every player to be perfect. And this is why Chelsea is working so perfectly at the moment. Because they find out that the 3-5-2 was a good idea. But um, it, it needs to be more specific to get the perfection and those results. So this is why Chelsea went for the 3-4-3. The um, so yeah, the main thing will be the, um, the personal instructions. Um, there is tons of. <laughs> um, you, you, just with Courtois, you don't want him to, to go for a long kick. And this noise is quite annoying as well. Sorry. Um, Just, just you know, just go for the centre backs, mainly David Lewis, to go and create, and you know, get the ball from court to where just turn down. You see all the pitch, and it's like, okay, where am I going? What I'm about to create from the back? This is quite specific. You don't have that much defenders able to do that. So this is why the the unique thing about Chelsea starts in there. Uh, I've done some recruitment with Van Dirk and Florenzi. I really love this guy. I'm sorry. You will maybe you will see in every tactics, but I, I really love this guy. Really aggressive. Uh, the two other uh, central defenders are really aggressive. Zuma and Van Dirk are really quick and solid. Uh, just, yeah reduce the space. Uh, if there is too much problems about doing mm, shitty moves, uh, if you see that there, there is some balls behind Van Dirk and David Lewis can't reach them, just reduce the, close, the, the pressing. Just remove this from Van Dirk and Zuma if you have some, tro some trouble with that. I don't have that much because David Lewis is an, an absolute beast and he covers perfectly the spaces with his pace and his placement is just so perfect. I think actually is 7.77 since the beginning of the season. Uh, he 
didn't I didn't get any injuries with him. Yeah, this is uh, uh, Premier League seven. Yeah, that's 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 a lot for a central defender. This is the best role for him. I've seen some uh, different uh, positioning. I've seen stopper as well, but I think with stopper uh, you lose. Uh, if so, for example, you're playing versus Manchester City. I'm afraid of the space uh, behind your back line and David Luiz will be a bit late if someone, for example, there is a, a direct ball behind Bandia, for example, and Aguero is going straight to the goal and just scoring another goal. So, yeah. Uh, sorry, just some cleaning uh, enterprise, cleaning my uh, my front door in there. Um, what you can go through as well. Uh, the complete win back. Sorry, just going back to the game. Um, yeah, the two are in attack mentality. Um, they are they are talented. Um, the recruitment of Florenzi is because Moses is not as good as in real life i think um as a complete win back so this is why i didn't want to to have him as a complete win back i was like okay for the perfection of for the tactic i was like i will recruit one guy and i will go through uh, i will go for it the good talented win back and it will make the, the tactic even more uh, enjoyable i guess uh, so yeah, good season for 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 Florenzi, seven thirty four, and um, I, I love this guy. I wanted to try him as well. Um, really, uh, really good. This I don't have that much um, balls behind the, those guys. The space is quite well covered. Um, I had some trouble when I, I when I was playing with Terry because I got yeah you've got Zuma injured for the beginning of the season. I was playing with Terry and Cahill, and the balls in there, uh, just those long balls, uh, made me um, made my defense not as as efficient as I want to. So with with some quick defenders, uh, you can go for some good stuff, really good stuff. Uh, I hope the sound is still okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, for the midfielders, Angola Kante is a box to box. Um, and you can't see on the webcam, but I've got my, my little girl on my, on my left arm sleeping like she's in heaven. And I'm like, I try to have a YouTube video with that mm, super massive noise. On the right, and she's sleeping so well. Anyway, um, Angolo Conte is a box. He's a box-to-box -box meal filler. Uh, there is no doubt about that. Uh, the thing is, I felt like in Football Manager, the box-to-box -box is like a complete meal filler. For example, you've got the complete forward, a guy that can go for every everything on the on the front of your attack i feel like the the box to box midfielder is a complete midfielder you can go for everything and um, a good box to box i guess will be Pogba. you can take the ball tackle dribble show shoot you can is really complete and golo Kante is a box to box um, i would say it's a defensive box to box Pogba is an offensive, offensive box to box. This is the only difference between the two, but they are box to box too. So this is why you have to, to get spe specific instructions for Kante. You don't want him as well. I, I think I, I, I took down the shootless shoot offense. Um, you want him to do the pressing, the tackles, etc. He's not, I guess, as technical as Pogba, so this is why I call him as passage shorter. He's, he's got tons of options. 
with William, Florenzi, Matic, even at the back with the Zuma, for example. There is this triangle, um, Matic, William, Florenzi is really close for N'Golo Kante. You know, just just go for passing short, and you don't need to go for a direct passing for Hazard or William. You know, just short short passes, cool, will be perfectly fine. Uh, Matic um, and Fabregas are um, the link who create. Who, how how can I say that? Uh, who take advantage of um, the space you've created? you've created on the opposite side of the pitch. For example, you create something on the left wing with Hazard and Marco Salonso, an overlap or something like that. Um, you, you see that it's completely close. Uh, the, the, def the opposite team defense is really well pressing your, your team on the left side with a Hazard going like he has lost. So you go back with Matic who with the more direct pass will find the opposite side with a Florenzi going like a proper Ferrari or Lamborghini on the right side and will have a completely free space to go for easy cross, easy cross, easy for Diego Costa to score. This is, I think, I don't want to be too much, but I think it's 20% of my goals. This is why you have Florenzi with nine assists. And Diego Costa is my best uh, scorer with 17 goals in 19 games. Um, he has easy goals to score, and this is mainly the action. And when is when it's not Hazard creating something magic, it's mainly that. Uh, so uh, I will continue with William. Uh, I had some troubles. Um, to find how I could make William um, like a proper genius. Uh, I, I was starting with a double advanced playmaker thing. I find out that William was going well in the middle of the pitch. That was perfect. Um, but I felt like as well as a winger uh, it was natural as well, but he was still going on the middle of the pitch, which is good for me because Florenzi had some free space. On, on some specific games, um, I had to change it because he was not going totally in the middle. So I was like, okay, go back to Advanced Playmaker or do a substitute with Oscar going through. And then I'd, I was going for a double Advanced Playmaker. So this is the thing you can do as um, an adaptation to a game. For example, if you have trouble with William, but William is doing well. The I, I keep the ball, dribble, dribble, looking on the left. N'Golo is a bit at the back. He's free, but maybe it could be dangerous. Dribbling and still waiting for Florenzi, you know, the Lamborghini on the right side. And you just dribble on the inside and create space with a little pass on the right side to Florenzi to do the cross, Diego Costa, and score. So, um, if you wanted to play with your own team and not Chelsea, maybe just do some, uh, some friendly games to see how your right wingers work. I think this is work, sorry. This is quite important, quite spe specific. Um, I, I didn't say about the, 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 the pressing, of course, everybody has closed down more. Uh, that's for sure. Um, the passage shot is not... You can remove it. Um, yeah, you can remove it. I will do it. Uh, hazard. Eden Hazard. I have some... I, I will be completely honest with you. I have some trouble with him. Um, how, how can I can I explain the trouble I have with, with him? Um, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to say. Not doing some amazing jobs versus big teams doing some amazing job, amazing skills, sorry, uh, amazing skills and moves versus uh, li little teams and small teams. Sorry, um, you know the the inside throwing going through the middle, cutting through the middle is 
is I guess well known now, so you can't go for some uh, some some great plays and surprises. Uh, you you can try um, you know inside forward, but um, the advanced playmaker with will roam more. He will he will want to create more than an inside forward. Or will get through the the middle of the pitch, but he he won't create as much as the advanced playmaker because he is a forward and he wants to score and wants to shot etc don't really want to create so this is why I want to go for an advanced playmaker as hazard because he has the ability to create with um, quite good passing quite good technique quite good vision quite good flair so this is why I want this role for him quite simple and then the beast, I, I I will be as well because I'm quite honest person. I'm a quite honest person. Um, I don't like Diego Costa um, because of his aggressivity, of course. Um, but you, you, there is some people you you don't want to like, but you have to to say that they are really good players, and Diego Costa is one of them. It's not because of football manager that, that I say that, but yeah, he's, I really like this guy on football manager, first of all. And uh, yeah, he's quite intelligent, to be honest, as well. He's really intelligent, and yeah, he's, <laughs> I, this is interesting. I, I see the six positioning. I, I, in real life, his positioning is. I, I love his positioning on the box, outside the box, how. He plays with the, the defensive line, etc. of the opposite team. It's really interesting, but I, I really don't like this guy. But he's superbly good. Been quite a good start of the season. Um, I've doing I've been doing the rotation in cup in the cup with Vichy Bachway. But yeah, in, in, in the Premier League he scored like seventeen goals. Uh, having some good and bad games you have all right to speak to him and say go play better etc etc which is quite annoying but yeah doing well in big games because that, that is not and in sh in <laughs> versus lip bad teams is not doing so well that that's quite fun so yeah this is this is it for the tactics sorry for the noise that Sally sorry for my English don't know why the, this this video is making me stressed out. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, to finish this uh, video, I, I wanted to do something different, uh, something different from uh, the previous video with Jardim at Monaco. Um, wanted to show you as well the stages, the where we were positioned. Actually, actually, in in the Premier League, uh, I think it's a good start of the season. We've been uh, not losing that much actually. Just two games versus two teams. I really hate in Football Manager because I'm I really love um, Manchester United. I've been a big fan since uh, since yeah since Ruud van Nistelrooy. It was 2001-2002, so yeah, I just love Manchester United. In, in this video game, I, I just hate them so much. Uh, unplayable team with the 4 4 one, one. I, I, I really hate them. Anyway, and Arsenal as well, and Tottenham as well. Uh, so, um, I just show you as well the results are hard. Oh, I hard. So I hard. <laughs> with with the with the tactic is I think it's this is good results. Uh, these are good results. Uh, I could do better. Some tactical mistake because I was, um, you know, testing some things. Um, I, you know, I, I, this is my first game. I I didn't because in Monaco I'm starting a game. I've doing I've been doing like 15 games and I was like ah, this is not the good thing and, and I started another game 
and to find the best tactic. So with Chelsea, I just went through since the beginning, and this is why there is some games I've been trying things and it didn't work out. But now I can say that I think I found the problems, etc. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, we just go for. Oh, this is fun to play in English. I, so, <laughs> mainly, I just play in French, of course, because I'm French. And um, yeah, I just mechanically go for some uh, extended uh, goals. Yay! So, yeah, to finish, I will just go for, I hope. Uh, we will see some uh, key moves that I explained to you uh, on the presentation of the tactic. Uh, I'm playing versus a 4-4-1-1, just like Manchester United. Uh, and this is a really annoying tactic, but um, because of the, the... I wanted, I will say, the four wingers, uh, the number 10, number 8, number 3, number 22, that just quite block quite well um, the, the efficiency of my windows. You see William just going through the middle, hazard creating space. This is not the best cross you've seen so far. But this is typically what, oh, too late, anyway. You know, going through that space and create space on the other side with a direct pass. This is normally what Matic of Abregas can do when your team wants to go back in there. Uh, not oh I just closed this thing. Um, we have we have, we have trouble finding some space through the box. Angolo Kante. That was not a good shot. We've got the possession. Passes complete is quite good, above eighty percent. We've got to change the side or. Oh. Marcos. Okay, the header was missed. Some trouble with our tackle, with our tackles. Good with the headers. I guess you can go. You can go for just this. Maybe a more direct passing. And that's the. F uh, <laughs> that's a penalty. That's quite unlucky, and Bohan is going uh, really super mega lucky, and I'm not lucky at all. Ah, football manager. So yeah, no efficiency on all crosses, mainly because they have those these double winger things. Uh, and you know, Bohan, and this is a bug I don't like to see, but anyway, football manager. Skip. Uh, oh, okay. That's perfect. The space is created. A good cross. No, that's another shitty cross by uh, Marco Alonso. I don't know what you can really do. We are going, we are playing quite well. Um, the thing is, uh, just wait for the good cross. This is quite difficult versus um, these double mm, double winger things. This is why I have some trouble to find some spaces versus the four four one one. If you have an idea, don't hesitate to tell me in the commentaries. Um, well, this is not a tact mag <laughs> this is a magnificent tactical move. What I've done here is just a William free kick from thirty yards. I don't, don't deserve, but you know it's like a penalty. It's unlucky. Uh, yeah, the bug made Thibaut Courtois to have six point four. Virgil, oh, it's Van der has made the foul. Don't know why. Uh, uh, just going through the statistics. Um, a lot 
way too much mistakes. A lot of lost balls on the left side. The the bug with Courtois. David Luiz has conceded the penalty. It was not Van Dijk. I don't know why. Uh, not because of those. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, for Diego Costa, I can't do that much. Uh, maybe made him don't hold up the ball. I would just give him some freedom, I would say. Uh, Eden Hazard has 6.6. .6. This is another problem you can have. The cross have been really shit. Uh, two dribbles, one foul. Uh, any problem with the passes, maybe? Oops, oh no. And, uh, yeah. Not in a good form, not in a good form to do some direct passing today for Hazard. So this is why uh, he has some trouble. Um, we'll just tell him to just play shorter passing. Matic as well has some trouble, just a mix. Uh, of passing for him today um, and yeah should be better it's just uh, we have some trouble to create something offensively I guess it will open a bit more with that um, going back to the games um, Okay, good ball by a hazard, but another shitty cross. He had some spaces. I don't know what it he, he threw the ball like stupidly. Sorry, stupidly? Yeah, like that. It was a good cross, but unfortunately it was William just <laughs> under the ball with the header. Good pressing by Costa, and we are late to get back through the ball. That's quite unlucky. But we're going back with Florenzi. William on the right side, and another shitty dribble. Good ball by William, but Peters is injured. I would demand more for about the team. I have to do a substitute. There is something going wrong today. It's not. It's not only Villarreal. I will go for this. Something a bit more technical and Fabregas as well instead of Matic, because the the ability to shoot and the ability to Create of Fabregas is more efficient than Matic, who is, who is a bit more defensive, I'd say. Good pressing in here. We have to force the long ball. Bohan is all alone. We are late. Good tackle on Arnotovic. Good Aspilicueta. Well done. Good ball for Hazard going through the inside. Kante, we have to do something on the other side. Uh, but that was um, not good. Uh, break Diego Costa is absolutely absent today. No headers, no dribble. Um, um, well, if today's performance is shit, just do, do the, as much as you can to, to do the pressing and stuff. If you don't want to score, if you can't score today, just do as much as you can to be a nightmare for them. Okay, just two free kicks doing absolutely nothing. Uh, we have to be a bit more creative. So this is why I go for attacking to give a bit more uh, liberty to my team, has that on the middle, yay, and Butland is not doing a, a too bad game, has a versus <laughs> Allen, normally in real life this is not the same result, Kante with a nice shot but you see as I, I as I said about the box box to box that you have some trouble 
uh, with uh, the fact that he loves to shot and do everything. I forgot to, no, I put it a bit more creativity as well for Kante. I just want to keep him to shoot less often, but uh, if I go for flexible, I guess, a bit more creativity as well. Uh, yeah, we can't find we can't find things in, in the front. I guess it will finish with a one-one. If we are lucky, we will score with a free kick or a corner kick. Hazard, Butland, Butland, Butland. And the sh yeah. The thing is, I, I guess, because of the, the last results, you know, tight tight wins, etc. This is why my team is not in a good mood. You can see they are not not in a trusty mood. I, I would say it's quite weird, but yeah, but not is not buggy as Courtois. Diego Costa, Kante, good ball for Florenzi, good cross, but another. Yeah, um, today's game problem was mainly the crosses, I would say. <laughs> yeah, with one one good cross, it, it would be 2-1, but... Or 1-0 because of the penalty and the free kick, which are... Static... Uh, goals, I would say. Florenzi, bad cross. Zuma, Florenzi, you've got some people on... Yeah, that, exactly that, but... It's like playing versus the bus. <laughs> no. Well, we won't win, that was obvious. Nine shots on target. Uh, Jack Butler not doing that much of a big game, but the shots were not that dangerous today. Uh, yeah, made way too much shot for Angolo Kante because because it's a bit buggy as well. I told him to shoot less often, but he's actually for shots five times. Anyway, without that, he would have passed just about, if it was a bit more realistic, he would just have passed the ball a bit more. Hazard will do some shitty things, yay. This was not a good example of what the tactic is able to do. Uh, this is mainly because of a bug that I made that score today. Um, I will just go Van Dijk with the 6.4 and Courtois being buggy. Um, yeah, this was the, the start of the season. Uh, I will try to find some good goals to show you instead of that shitty game. Yeah, I, I don't want to. I do want to, to go to, for a rev or for a video. I was like, I will save and load and show a good game. Oh, it doesn't. It didn't work. You know, load, do the, the game again, etc. Just wanted to be completely honest with you, even if it was a shitty thing. Because I personally know that I've been doing some good thing with this tactic. So I don't worry about that. Um, yeah, I guess... Yeah, this is the kind of things that I've seen. A uh, good victory versus Liverpool. Um, you can say something I, I've, I, I, lo I love to see that kind of positioning. Six players offensively versus four players and with a too narrow tactic, they were completely lost. And then you've got uh, Diego Costa who had an open an open 1v1 one v, one v one, uh, versus Sacco. Uh, he made one of the most difficult passes I've ever seen, but it finished really brilliantly. For Florenzi, the man, who had the double pressing on him, made him William completely free. And yeah, William for underground cross. 
to talk to Diego Costa and it just to do, went to the equalizer um, and then the other goals Hazard, William, other side, Marcos Alonso direct passing William. This is this was a really brilliant game versus Liverpool. I really loved the the goals we scored. Uh, going a bit back, uh, I I can't go more. Yeah, um, another adaptation. Uh, if you have, for example, something that I should have done as well uh, with the tactic uh, when versus. Yeah, I should have done that. It's always like that with me. Uh, I should have done that. Um, the direct passing can create spaces um, quickly. Uh, you can go for that if you have some trouble versus defensive tactics like the 4 4 one, one. Um, Yeah, this is another adaptation you can do uh, for that. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm facing a, a quite difficult, uh, I just lost to Manchester United as well, um, so yeah, this is not the best uh, end of the first part of the season that I'm doing right now. Um, I, will, I will find yeah, the, the perfect adaptation just to make the, the, just the little thing that will make me finish first at the end of the season. I guess it will be something with the passing. Um, and maybe the creativity if I have some trouble to to find some good crosses etc but yeah with the with this game with this bad game I had and the explanation I gave you I guess you've got all the tools to 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 play with this uh, four three three four three uh, mainly inspired by uh, the great coach uh, that Antonio Conte is um, so this is my second video about my tactics. Uh, so yeah, as I said on the previous video, um, I am the uh, French blogger on Football Manager. Um, my blog is Juste Un Dernier Match dot WordPress dot com. You have the Just Juste Un Dernier Match written uh, on the little thing behind the video, uh, under the video. Sorry, uh, if you want to check out, it's fully in French, but I guess that. You guys, English people, love French so much. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm kidding. I know you hate French. Um, uh, so yeah, this is why I do the video for you because uh, I like English. My English is not too bad, and my baby is waking up. So this is the end of the video. Uh, so yeah, just just check out for more uh, tactical uh, articles. Uh, I will come back with a next week video. We will be about the four two 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 of. Rosenball Sport Leipzig or um, the tactic of Jorge Jesus in sporting or uh, the one that I prefer is the 4-1-2-1-2 uh, played by uh, Claude Puel, the coach of Southampton. I really loved, uh, Claude, I really love, this is the present, uh, Claude Puel because he made a great job with Nice in France last season and he's doing really, really well actually. Uh, in the south of England, south of England with Southampton. Oh, you, you're about to cry, baby. Shh, shh, shh. Uh, so, yeah, next video. I guess it will be Southampton. I don't have the save anymore with Southampton, which is, which is a shame. But I will just create a game just to show you the main things about this tactic. Uh, worked uh, quite well for some of my viewers because I streamed on, I streamed on Twitch as well. Um, and uh, I'm quite happy about this tactic. Um, so this will be the next uh, video on YouTube in English for you. The 41212 with Claude Puel and she's sleeping back. But this is still the, the end of the video. Sorry for the noise out, noises outside. Um, if you have any questions, any critics or any things you've been doing with Chelsea and the, four, the 343, of Antonio Conte, just don't hesitate. Um, I'm, I'm listening. Um, I've done my adaptation. I've seen, as I said, three, four adaptations who were working well as well. But this is my interpretation, and it's not working too bad as well. So no problem, guys. Um, I think I don't have. 
that much to say more. Um, just, yeah, enjoy the game, enjoy the tactic. You have all the things in the video uh, about the personal instructions, etc. I don't think I have to add something now. So, see you next time, and thank you very much.